Blue Dog Coalition. Social liberalism, historical conservatism, position equal national equal democratic party colors equal blue seats for title equal seats in the house seats for equal seats three title equal seats in the house democratic caucus seats three equal website equal country equal United States. The Blue Dog Coalition, commonly known as the Blue Dogs or Blue Dog Democrats, is a caucus in the United States House of Representatives comprising centrist members from the Democratic Party. The caucus was founded as a group of conservative Democrats in 1995 in response to defeats in the 1994 elections. Historically, Blue Dog Coalition has been fiscally and socially conservative, representing the centre-right in the Democratic Party. The modern Blue Dog Coalition remains the most conservative grouping of Democrats in the House, broadly adopting socially liberal and fiscally conservative policies and promoting fiscal restraint. The caucus has 19 members. The co-chairs of the Blue Dog Coalition for the 117th Congress or U.S. Representatives had case Stephanie Murphy and Tom O'Halloran. The chair of the Blue Dog PAC, the coalition's political organization, is U.S. Representative Kurt Schrader, who lost her nomination in 2022. Overview and History The Blue Dog Coalition was formed in 1995 during the 104th Congress to give members from the Democratic Party representing conservative-leaning districts a unified voice after the Democrats' loss of Congress in the 1994 Republican Revolution. The term Blue Dog Democrat is credited to Texas Democratic Representative Pete Jaron, who later joined the George W. Bush administration. Jaron opined that the members have been shocked blue by Democrats and the left. It is related to the political term Yellow Dog Democrat, a reference to Southern Democrats said to be so loyal they would even vote for a yellow dog before they would vote for any Republican. The term also refers to the blue dog paintings of Cajun artist George Rodrigo of Lafayette, Louisiana, as the original members of the coalition would regularly meet in the offices of Louisiana representatives Billy Tawson and Jimmy Hayes, both of whom later joined the Republican Party both also had Rodrigue's paintings on their walls. An additional explanation for the term cited by members is when dogs are not let into the house, they stay outside in the cold and turn blue, a reference to the blue dogs' belief they had been left out of a party that they believed had shifted to the political left. At one time, first term blue dogs were nicknamed blue pups. Starting in the 21st century, the caucus began shifting its ideology and began adopting more socially liberal stances in order to align more closely with mainstream Democratic Party political values. Disputes within the Democratic Party In 2007, 15 blue dogs in safe seats rebel and refuse to contribute party dues to the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. An additional 16 blue dogs did not pay any money to the DCCC but were exempt from party-mandated contributions because they were top GOP targets for defeat in 2008. One reason for the party dues boycott was contained in remarks made by Rep. Lynn Wolsey of California encouraging leaders of anti-war groups to feel primary challenges to any Democrat who did not vote to end the war in Iraq. Wolsey later stated that she was misunderstood, but the Blue Dogs continued the boycott. Donations to party congressional committees are an important source of funding for the party committees, permitting millions of dollars to be funneled back into close races. Role in the passage of the ACA In the summer of 2009, The Economist newspaper said the following regarding the Blue Dog Coalition. The debate over health care may be the pinnacle of the group's power so far. The Economist quoted Charlie Stenholm, a founding Blue Dog, as stating that this is the first year for the new kennel in which their votes are really going to make a difference. In July 2009, Blue Dog members who were committee members of the House Energy and Commerce Committee successfully delayed the House vote on the Health Insurance Reform Bill HR 3200 until after the summer recess. It was during this recess that the term Obamacare was first derisively adopted by Republicans on Capitol Hill. It is widely proposed that Blue Dog opposition to the public option and this recess, with its summer's contentious town hall meetings, provided the healthcare law's Republican opponents the opportunity to attack and subsequently get the public option dropped from the original, pre-recess bill. The Washington Post noted the most influential U.S. House of Representatives voting bloc was the conservative Democrat Blue Dog Coalition, having over 50 members. Post-2010 decline. The Blue Dog Coalition suffered serious losses in the 2010 midterm elections, losing over half of its seats to Republican challengers. Its members, who were roughly one quarter of the Democratic Party's caucus in the 111th Congress, accounted for half of the party's midterm election losses. Including retirements, Blue Dog numbers in the House were reduced from 59 members in 2009 to 26 members in 2011. Two of the coalition's four leaders, Stephanie Hurst Sandlin and Baron Hill, failed to secure re election. The caucus shrank even more in the 2012 House of Representatives elections, decreasing in size from 27 to 14 members. 
Speculation ensued that the centrist New Democrat coalition would fill the power vacuum created by the Blue Dog Coalition's decline. Opposition to the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act and climate change legislation are believed to have contributed to the defeat of two conservative Democrats in the 2012 House elections in Pennsylvania by more liberal opponents. In the 2016 elections, future Blue Dogs accounted for over half of the Democrats' gains in the House. In 2018, for the first time since 2006, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee partnered with the Blue Dog PAC, the Blue Dog Coalition's political organization, to recruit candidates in competitive districts across the country. After the 2018 House of Representatives elections, the caucus grew from 18 members to 24. All incumbents were re-elected and rep. Kirsten Simo was elected to the U.S. Senate from Arizona. The caucus also added 11 new members who defeated Republican incumbents in the 2018 election in districts that had voted for Donald Trump in 2016. Congressional Democrats gained more seats than in any single election since the post-Watergate congressional elections. Ideology The Blue Dog Coalition is the most conservative grouping of Democrats in the House. It advocates for fiscal responsibility, a strong national defense and bipartisan consensus rather than conflict with Republicans. It acts as a check on legislation that its members perceive to be too far to the right or to the left on the political spectrum. It broadly supports socially liberal and fiscally conservative policies and promoting fiscal restraint. The caucus has shifted left in recent years, adopting more liberal stances on social issues and aligning more closely with Democratic Party policies. The Blue Dog Coalition is nonetheless often involved in searching for a compromise between liberal and conservative positions. Though its members have evolved on social issues over time, the group has never taken a position on social issues as a caucus. There is no mention of social issues in the official Blue Dog materials. Membership In the early years of the caucus, the Blue Dogs were viewed by some as the political successors to a Southern Democratic group known as the Ball Weevils. The Ball Weevils may, in turn, be considered the descendants of the Dixocrats and the states' rights Democrats of the 1940s through the 1960s, and even the Bourbon Democrats of the late 19th century. The founding members of the Blue Dog Coalition were Glenn Browder and Bud Kramer of Alabama, Blanche Lincoln of Arkansas, Gary Condit of California, Nathan Deal of Georgia, William Lipinski of Illinois, Scotty Beesler of Kentucky, Billy Tozen and Jimmy Hayes of Louisiana, Colin Peterson and David Minch of Minnesota. Michael Parker and Gene Taylor of Mississippi, Pat Danner of Missouri, William Kelvin, Brewster of Oklahoma, John Scythe, Tanner of Tennessee, Ralph Hall, Charles Steno, Pete Tern and Greg Laughlin of Texas, Bill Orton of Utah, and Lewis Fahrenheit, Hayne Jr. and Owen Pickett of Virginia. Condit administration, Peterson policy, and Tanner communications were co chairs deal was initially the chair for policy before he switched parties shortly after the caucus's founding. Browder headed the group's budget task force. In January 2019, McClatchy reported that the Blue Dogs had changed from a coalition of southern white men to a multi-regional, multicultural group. At the time, two Blue Dogs were African-American, one was Vietnamese-American, one was Mexican-American, and only five came from southern states. As of December 2020, the caucus included 18 members. Co-chairs The co-chairs of the Blue Dog Coalition for the 117th Congress, or U.S. Representatives Ed Case, Stephanie Murphy, and Tom O'Halloran. The chair of the Blue Dog PAC, the coalition's political organization, is U.S. Representative Kurt Schrader. Rap Murphy, a Vietnamese-American, is the first woman of color to lead the Blue Dog Coalition in its history. Term start term in chair for administration, chair for communications, chair for policy, February 1995, April 1995, Gary Kendit, John South. Tan and Ethan Deal, April 1995, January 1999, Colin Peterson, January 1999, January 2001, Robert East. Kramer, Chris Dunn, Charles Stenholm, January 2001, January 2003, Chris John, Jim Turner, Alan Boyd, January 2003, January 2005, Jim Turner, Baron Hill, Charles Stenholm, January 2005, January 2007, Jim Matheson, Dennis Cordoza, Jim Fripper, January 2007, January 2009, Alan Boyd, Mike Ross, Dennis Moore, January 2009, October 2009, Stephanie Hurst, Sandlin, Charlie Melanton, Baron Hill, October 2009, January 2011, Jim Matheson, January 2011, January 2013, he Chilo, Mike was John Barrow, January 2013, January 2015, John Barrow, Cut Trader, Jim Cooper, January 2015, January 2017, Cut Trader, Jim Costa, January 2017, January 2019, Jim Costa, Henry Kula, Dan Lipinski, January 2019, January 2021, Stephanie Murphy, Lee Korea, Tom Erhalwin, January 2021, President Tom Erhalwin, Ed Case. Ah. Uh, members of the Blue Dog Coalition. 
Arizona Tom O'Halloran, representative from his Zeminus won last re election in 2022. California Luke O'Rea, representative from C. Aminus 46 Jim Costa, representative from C. Aminus 16 Mike Thompson, representative from C. Aminus 5. Florida Stephanie Murphy, representative from F. L. Minus 7, retiring at end of 117th Congress. Georgia Sanford Bishop, representative from G. Aminus 2 Caroline Burdo, representative from G. Aminus 7, lost renomination in 2022 due to redistricting. David Scott, representative from G. Aminus 13. Hawaii Ed Case, representative from H. Aminus 1. Illinois Brad Schneider, representative from I. L. Minus 10. Maine Jared Golden, representative from M. Aminus 2. New Jersey Josh Gothamer, representative from NJ-5 Mickey Sherrill, representative from NJ-11. Oregon Kurt Schrader, representative from OR-5 Lost Renomination in 2022. Tennessee Jim Cooper, representative from TM-5 Retiring at end of 117th Congress due to redistricting. Texas Henry Kuehler, representative from TX-28 Vincent Gonzalez, representative from TX-15. Virginia Abigail Spambacher, representative from V. Aminus 7.